Today, I'm in Linton and Lynmouth, a beautiful resort on the North Devon coast, famed for its chocolate box beauty and its iconic water-powered cliffside railway. But we're not here to talk about that today, because 2024 marks 200 years since the birth of the RNLI, and one of the most challenging rescues in its history happened right here from Lynmouth. So if you come with me, I'll tell you the story. On the 12th of January, 1899, just before 8pm, Lynmouth Lifeboat Station received a telegram reporting that a 1900-tonne sailing ship, the Forest Hall, had gone into trouble in stormy weather off the coast of Porlock. It was on its way from Bristol to Liverpool when its tow rope snapped. The storm was threatening to run it aground, putting the 18 souls on board at great risk. Naturally, RNLI crews leapt into action, but they soon found out that the conditions here in Lynmouth were too treacherous to launch the boat. So the boss, the coxswain, came up with the idea to launch the boat at Porlock Weir, where it was a bit more sheltered. However, that meant taking the boat overland, over Exmoor, 13 miles. But they did it. And this is the journey that they took and what a 13 mile journey it would be for them. Thankfully for the crew though, they weren't alone. Around a hundred strong local people gathered to help haul the Louisa, which was a 10 meter long, 10 ton lifeboat. This replica on display in Lynmouth will give you an idea of what she looked like. A local farm also sent 18 horses to help haul the Louisa up the likes of Countersbury Hill. And boy, was that help appreciated. The road ahead was steep, dark and treacherous in the bad weather. Now, once the team had hauled the lifeboat up that huge, great big hill we just came up, they stopped off here at the Blue Ball Inn to refresh themselves and to mend a carriage wheel that had fallen off on the way. Now, most of the team by that point had turned around and gone home. Would you blame them? That left just 20 men, 14 of the lifeboat men included, to take the boat the rest of the way to Porlock Weir. And if you know this area, you know what's coming next. And as they say, what goes up must come down. Porlock Hill, the steepest A road in England. With gradients in places of one in four and hairpin bends that catch out even the most competent of drivers, you will climb or descend more than 1,200 feet in less than two miles. So imagine what it must have been like controlling a 10 ton lifeboat down this thing. But they did, in the dark, in a storm. And from then on, it's pretty much smooth, flat sailing down to Porlock Weir. After nearly an 11 hour journey, the men would finally reach the sea at Porlock Weir at 6.30 a.m. on the 13th of January. Despite being tired and hungry, they immediately launched the lifeboat and it would take them another hour to reach the distressed crew of the Forest Hall, which was now anchored in the Bristol Channel. Rowing through the stormy seas, once the lifeboat men arrived at the Forest Hall, they helped the exhausted sailors raise their anchors, attach ropes to the two tugboats which had arrived, and then the tugboats would tow the Forest Hall across the channel to Barry. Now, the crew of the Louisa didn't get home until 11.30 a.m. the following day. But my word, I bet you they slept well, safe in the knowledge that their heroic actions had saved all 18 crew members of the Forest Hall. And it's that kind of bravery that lives on in the RNLI today. I hope you can join with me in wishing it a very happy 200th birthday. And may it still be here going strong in 200 years' time.